Congratulations! You'll soon enjoy the outdoors even more with your new gazebo from Lowe's Garden Treasures Collection. This video will provide you with easy-to-follow, step-by-step instructions. You'll find a handy list of parts in the illustrated instruction manual. Take a moment to review this list and check it against the parts as you lay them out in your work area. As we put together the Garden Treasures gazebo, we'll identify the necessary parts by their associated letters, A, B, C, and so forth. This will help ensure a smooth and successful assembly process. Okay, let's get started. Step one, insert supporting post A into post plate cover B. Then, fit post bottom plate C beneath the supporting post. Insert short bolt AA through the supporting post and the post bottom plate, securing it using the provided hex wrench, double D. For each supporting post, there are two short bolts to be secured, facing each other. Slide down the post plate cover into place and repeat this process for the remaining supporting posts, four in all. Step two, insert inner connector F into crossbar D and crossbar E. Secure the combination with short bolt AA using the hex wrench. Repeat for the remaining crossbar one and crossbar two until you've used 16 short bolts to fully secure each crossbar assembly. Just as you have four supporting posts, you'll also have four crossbar assemblies. For this next step, you'll need at least two people. Secure an assembled crossbar set, D and E, to supporting post A using long bolt BB. Repeat for the opposite end of the crossbar set until all crossbars and posts are connected. Make sure to use four of these long bolts on each end of the crossbars attached to supporting posts. Now, secure the crossbars with outside corner connector G using short bolt AA. Repeat this process until each of the four outside corner connectors has been secured in place with two short bolts. Attach corner inner connector, H, onto long roof pole, L, securing with short bolt, AA. Repeat this for the remaining corner inner connectors and long roof poles. Next, attach air vent roof pole, M, onto long roof pole, L, by long bolt, double C. Repeat this process for the remaining air vent roof poles. You'll have four of these assemblies. Secure long roof pole, L, onto supporting pole, A, by short bolt. Repeat for the remaining roof pole sets. Insert air vent roof pole, M, into small roof connector, J. Then secure with short bolt, double A, again using the hex wrench. Place large roof connector, K, onto small roof connector, J, and secure them with the finial, AE. Then, place support panel, N, onto the assembled roof pole sets, LM. Secure the support panel with the long roof pole by short bolt, double A. Repeat the process until the support panel is fully attached to all the roof poles. Secure a center interconnector, I, onto short roof pole, O, using short bolt, double A. Repeat until all center interconnectors are fully secured to the eight short roof poles. Using short bolt, double A, secure one end of short roof pole, O, to support panel, N. Then secure the other end of the short roof pole, the end with the attached center interconnector, to the crossbar assembly, DE. Repeat this process for the remaining seven short roof poles. You'll secure two poles to each side of the gazebo, 
attaching them to the respective support panels on the upper end and to the crossbar assemblies on the lower end of the pole with finial AE. Now, peel off the protective wrapping of the roof panel S. Insert each side of roof panel S into air vent roof poles. Then, secure EVE center connector Z with long roof pole L using short bolt AA. Insert short bolt AA through bottom support tube P and bottom support tube Q, attaching to short roof pole O. Then, insert short bolt AA through the bottom support tube P and bottom support tube R, securing to the short roof pole. Attach securely to long roof tube L. Repeat the process for all sides following the parts order Q, P, and R. Insert roof panel V into long roof tube L and short roof tube O. Then, insert roof panel W into the long roof tube and short roof tube. Repeat for the remaining roof panels with protective wrapping removed. Insert short bolt AA through EVE center connector Z, securing to short roof pole O. Insert short bolt through EVE corner connector AB, attaching securely to long roof pole L. Now, repeat this process for each of the remaining corner connectors. Hang net AD from crossbar of gazebo with hooks AF. Note, do not open zippers on the net before hanging, and be sure to close all zippers before removing the net. And now, to stabilize your assembled gazebo. If securing to the ground, raise the post plate cover B and put the stakes, AC, through each post bottom plate, C. Insert the stakes into the ground at all corners and lower the post plate covers. These stakes are included in the parts provided. If securing your gazebo to concrete, you'll need to obtain from Lowe's additional parts, concrete anchors with a washer and nut for each. After drilling appropriately sized holes in the concrete, Insert the anchors through the bottom plates. After putting on the washer, tighten each nut and then drive the anchor into the hole you drilled in the concrete. Do the same for all anchors at all support posts. Then lower the post plate covers. And now, the work is done. Time to relax and enjoy your beautiful new gazebo one of the many garden treasures from Lowe's.